Now, my question is, does your best friend have a good relationship, right? Does your best friend have a standing relationship? If not, then maybe you probably shouldn't go to that person, you know, looking for advice, right? Um, the best way to get to, to fix something is to find somebody who has already fixed that problem or doesn't even have that problem altogether. You know, um, that's that's pretty much what I got. That's the best. <laughs> that's the best way I can put it. Boy, you know? but, but Darius, one thing I, I and this is Darius from 2018. He told me even till to this day that he won't deal with a woman from America. Can you explain why? And you just keep it real. We, hey, we, we, we keep it real. It's three in the morning, guys. Three, four. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Four o'clock. <laughs> we um, keep it real. Yeah, just let it out. Let it out. <laughs> well, you know, for, for me, I um, I don't know. I, I've I've seen the insanity that lives here, you know, in the United States. I mean, you got like it's it's so common that, you know, the young women, when when they grow up, they see they look at social media, they look at music videos and they're seeing um, it, you know, the women, they see, uh, they see the women who are in the videos, they're living this luxurious lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like they're traveling, you know, maybe they're, uh, dressed in half naked and, you know, they say, well, you know, like, why is it, I I'm working hard, right? And I'm, I can barely afford just to pay my rent, you know? And this woman over here, she's an OnlyFans. She got an OnlyFans, right? And she, half naked and she balling out, traveling, get, driving a Mercedes, going from taking vacations and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of people, a lot of the women are getting, they're getting their, their source of information is coming from the wrong places here in the United States. So, you know, outside the country, like the families won't allow that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? The women, like when uh, in a lot of different countries around the world, there is family structure. They're following things of the old way. You look at India, for example, right? The people over in India, it's crazy, man. Like the women over there, man, bro, I guarantee you, bro, I, you, there, I'm pretty sure there's like no only fan, no Indian women on only nah, nah. You hear what I'm saying? Because their family will disown them. Yeah. The whole family, they will be cut off. They will lose their entire family because they are bringing shame to the family. But here in the, in the United States, it's like, it's palatable. You know, like the women, are, like it's, it's, you know, they got their friends who are doing the same thing, right? And it's like the women influence each other here to like be, to, to be the worst version of themselves, you know, instead of lifting each other up. So, you know, I just don't want to deal with the insanity. I'm going to be real with you. You know, I remember, honestly, uh, let's look at like, you remember that movie Avatar? Yeah. Yep. In Avatar, I remember like when the Jake Sully right, the Jake Sully guy came into the, the it went into the Avatar forum or whatever, went into the Avatar world. They were talking about, I swear, man, that movie Avatar, bro, is based off of like real life, man. You know, because that's what, that's what happened, right? The, uh, the, 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 the people, the European people came to the United States and they found the natives, you hear what I'm saying? And then what they did, they was like, okay, this land, is it like, dude, I swear this is like the Avatar movie is like a, a, a re representation of real life, you know, like straight up, it's like a representation of real life, right? The, the Europeans came, right? That you know, they came and, and they and they wanted they wanted the uh, the they wanted the wealth that of that place, there was like some kind of mineral that was like priceless, right? And what they wanted, they wanted to move the local people out of that place. So that they can get all the gold and stuff like that, right? But in the in the movie, the girl, like when when the guy came, the Jake Sully or whatever his name was, came. She said to him, "We, you know, we will see if we can cure your 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 madness, your insanity, you know, because we think that like here in the United States, the common mindset. You go to you go to the South, you go to pretty much all across the United States. The women go check on my Instagram, man. Let's go so, scroll through Instagram." And, and look at the women's from the United States and let's see what how the women are posting themselves, 
right? How they how they display themselves. Half the women got half naked pictures and Bible scriptures at the top. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, bro. If that's not insanity, I don't know what is. If that's not insanity, I don't know what is. How do you involve God in this nonsense? How do you like somebody tell me? How do you involve God in this nonsense? I mean, no man, it, it's it's preposterous. You know, that we would even, like, you know, and, and then, like, we say, oh, say God is good. You put the Bible scripture on there. You know, no, I mean, I don't want to deal with insanity. When I have kids, I don't want my children to be, honestly, I, I want my kids to be born out of the country. I hate yeah. to say it, bro. That's true, I hate to man. say it, but country, outside the country, country outside Anywhere the country, else. you can discipline your children. Yeah. Here, if you put your hands on the kids, they have something called CPS, which is Child Protective Services. Yeah. Yeah. They can come yeah. and take your kids yeah. outside of your home for you disciplining them. You hear what I'm saying? That's, that's like, no, nah, bro, that's I don't want to deal with it. And then not just that, you know, like. There's just all types of problems. If you have oh, a relationship, no, if you get right, married yeah. and then you have a split with your wife, right? If you get married here in the United States and you have a split with your wife, right? Here in the United States, the laws are made to benefit the women. Oh, man. You hear what I'm saying? So now you're you're even though the wife didn't go to work, right? She didn't she didn't she didn't make half the money, but she's entitled to half of everything Crazy. that you have. Crazy. You know, like no nah, man. I ain't going down with that nonsense. You're not gonna drag me down with your nonsense. No, bro. Hey, look, one hundred percent. If the woman paid half the bills, I I believe she's entitled to half. I agree. I agree. Half. Yeah, I agree. If she's bringing just as much to the table as That's I am, because the question is, let's go ahead and flip things around, right? Let's say the girl that I'm in a relationship, the wife that I'm in a relationship with, what if she makes more money than me? Do I get half of what she has? Hopefully, in the in the divorce. Do they? Of course not, man. What are you talking about? You think you think that Stedman? You think that Oprah and you think Stedman's gonna get half of Oprah's wealth, bro? I mean, no, man. No, of course it's not gonna be the same. You know, we live we live in a system that is corrupt. You hear what I'm saying? So, no, man, I'm not gonna deal with it. I honestly, I want to have my kids outside of the country. I want to have them raised outside of the country. Maybe I will bring them to the United States right. so they can visit my parents. I might even move. I, 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 my plan is to move out of the United States, uh, you know, at a certain point. You know, um, I want to open a church here in the United States and then, you know, I want to have some churches internationally. But, you know, I don't want to deal with the insanity that's happening here, man. You know, and because it, it's, it's being supported. And no, and it's like if you try and say something again against the way, then you know now you're a misogynist. You hear what I'm saying? As a man, now you're a misogynist because you're speaking out against against insanity. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> you're speaking against insanity. Like, bro, this is this is an oxymoron. These two things do not mix. God and God and 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 sexual. And, and, and sexual temptation, the women, I, I remember uh, Pastor Mark was talking about the, um, what, the, the, the succubus, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The succubus, the, the women using, because this is what women are doing. The, a lot of the women, not all, no, right? There are yeah. always, there, there's a lot of good Christian women out here, out, out there, right? And this is not, we're not talking about you in any way, shape or form. What we're talking about is the women who are trying to, uh, who, who are using manipulation, right? They're using that, that sexual appeal, dressing half naked and all that stuff to draw men in, mm -hmm. you know, and get what and get whatever they want from the men, right? They're going to try to get whatever they want from the men. And, you know, now let, let's say you get in a relationship with that woman, right? It's not like she's just all of a sudden now she's going to change because she's in a relationship. Now she's going to stop wearing the sexy clothing. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to stop going to the nightclubs and, you know, and dancing and trying to show off in, in front of the, it's, it's insanity. <laughs> it's insanity. You know, like the, truth. the definition of insanity Red is doing money. the same Red. thing, expecting a different result. That is the definition of insanity. We're doing the same things generation after generation, but somehow we expect things to Change, be different. Yeah. You know, so now we got videos of, of 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 women playing. Like I remember, I seen this video. Did you guys see that video of the the little girls 
they were dancing to the one song. Sexy whatever. Red. I saw that. You know oh saying? my god! Like, man. bro, it's the same. What did I just say? We're, Generations. We're, we're, yeah. We're, it's it's being passed down. It started off with the parents. How do you think the little girls learn to dance like yeah, that? Man. You know what I'm saying? You got the women. And they're shooting Instagram videos and they're doing the sexy dancing and they're doing it in front of the kids. You know what I'm saying? In front of their daughters, right? So now they're learning, they're, in their mind, the kid, all the kids know is what they see their parents doing is acceptable. This is all the kids know. So, no, nah, man, I, I don't wanna, I, I personally, I would like to have some structure in my family. I would like to have peace in my home. When I come home, that. My mindset is that home is the place of Zen. The world is filled with chaos and anarchy. You hear what I'm saying? Like, you can't even turn on the news anymore, man. <laughs> you can't even turn on the news anymore. You know, like, it's, it's always some type of madness happening. So when you come home, your home is supposed to be your place of Zen, right? This is the one place that you can go to the world. And, you know, like, honestly, I'm personally, I'm looking for a relationship for for a woman who is going to have, who I can have a godly relationship with. I want us to pray together. I want us to Bible study together. You know, I don't want, I, I don't understand. Like, I don't walk around half naked posting pictures on my social media. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why should I accept that? I'm a beautiful man. You know what I mean? Why, why, you know, maybe I should just go to the gym, get my six pack and abs, you know, and just start posting a whole bunch of pictures you know, like I've seen, I've seen dudes who do it. I've seen guys that do it. Like you know, we're breeding insanity. <laughs> and I ladies, no part in it. to all the women who who are watching this, right? Darius is single. There's no reason for you not to hit him up. If you're a woman of God, no, 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 hold on, 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 let, let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. Because, hold up, hold up. Because I see a lot of ladies that be like, well, Mark, I can't find a man I got. I'm letting y'all know. I'm giving the owl to you. Okay? Oh, if, if you're in the need of a man of God, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you can't find a man of God, there's no excuse. Gorilla, Gorilla Nature Inc. on Instagram. There's no reason for you not to be DMing him right now. I'm oh, literally, man. pause the video. Pause the video. Let the storm come. And no, no, no. Let, let, let the storm come. Let it come. Okay, yeah, but let's yeah, keep it real because there's going to be agents hitting you up. But, you know, but there's always going to be the run real one. There's no reason for you ladies. But, oh, because I have a lot of women who tell me that, Mark, I can't find a man of God. None of these men serve God. So here you go. Mm. Here you go. Mm. You want a man to pray for you? You want, a, you want a man to lead you and guide for you? Now, this is not no dating app or dating type of stuff. I'm just letting y'all ladies know. Okay, we're in California. There's no reason for you not to be hitting him up. There's no reason, okay? And yes, Darius did say that he's not trying to date in America, and I don't blame him. And I, I recommend other men too as well, do not date with these American because these, these American women have been programmed. They've been the forbidden fruit. And also, over, like how Darius was talking about in India, how there's no prostitute, there's no OnlyFans there because they're held accountable by not only their family, but the other people in the area too as well. So it'll bring shame, not just upon the family, but upon the city. Mm. It's, it's gonna bring shame and see American women, they have liberty. And see, like I, like I said earlier, Satan has designed this system to be this way because he knows when women are liberated, when there's feminism, when women are the head and the man is, 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 is you know, lead, letting the woman lead him, when you're following God's order backwards, this is how the devil works. This, this mm. is how the devil works. It's backwards. If God says to do something, the devil corrupts it and does, does the opposite. So God says that man is the head, man's leader, man's the ruler. So Satan's like, no, the woman's leader, the woman's the, the woman's the head, the woman the woman is the one who who dictates the move and the control in the in relationship or the marriage. Well, guess what happens when you rebel against God's order? Guess what happens when you do the opposite of what God says to do? It's going to be confusion. It's going to be chaos, anarchy. As Darius likes to say, anarchy. Well, we know we know what happened. Uh, we we know what happened with uh, Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, Eve led Adam into uh, rebellion against God. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying? Like straight up, she she literally led him into rebellion against God. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. God gave Adam a direct order. Given he didn't give the order to Eve. But the fact is, is that Eve was not supposed to be the one making the decisions for the family. Yeah. You know, 
Um, I don't know why, I don't know what was going on back then. And, and you know, I understand it's the beginning of time and all that, but uh, the fact is, is that even even now, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I just wonder, you know, like I, may, I hope that all you women know Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> You hear what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> no, nah, man, no, because if somebody, what's going to happen, what's going to happen when, you know, we're in, let's say we're in the streets or whatever it is, and some that robber is, comes, boy. you hear what I'm saying? A robber comes, let's say in that situation, maybe I should step back and let you go ahead yeah. and, and fend off yeah, like the that. robber. You hear what I'm saying? You want to leave the house, yeah, thank right? Thank you. This is what, the, the leading the house means protection over the home. You hear what I'm saying? So if somebody comes and they talking about they they breaking into the house, I'm gonna send you down there with the pistol. You hear what I'm saying? I'm sending you down with the pistol. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go into the room and we gonna lock the door. I'm going with the kids and I'm gonna lock the door. No, because let's talk equality, right? Because this is what it's all about. Yeah, this is what it's all about. The simple light bulb. The simple light bulb. You know, we we want equality because this is what we're talking about equality. Let's talk about equality then, right? I, I just want to make sure that if we're, because the fact is, is that the man has been built stronger than the woman physically. You hear what I'm saying? Like that is, and, and the job of heading the house is the protection over the home. You hear what I'm saying? That means protection over the spiritual spirituality of the, over the home. That's protection physical over the home. You know, like, no, man. That's what it is. We gonna have equality. Let's have equality. I'm not opening the door for anybody. <laughs> in that case, right? You yeah. open the door for me. You hear what I'm saying? I'm gonna sit in the passenger seat. You drive the car. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna wait for you to come around the door and open the door for me. You hear what I'm saying? Let's talk equality. This is equality, right? No, man. This is nonsense. <laughs> That's what that is. It's preposterous. <laughs> let's 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 not play games here. Right. God is clear. The reason I mean, we've been given uh, God gave us the word. Right. We have the word of God. What is what is the point in having the Bible if we're not even going to try and follow what, the, what was given to us? This is the they've you know what the Bible is. The Bible is a document of all the wrong ways that people have done things in the past. That's literally what the Bible is. Go look in it, right? Uh, you know, the polygamy, right? Uh, that What happened with uh, Abraham, right? The father Abraham with the polygamy, right? He, you know, his, he, he had his wife. He had the commandment from God. You know, God told him, you know, we gonna, I'm going to give you, your, I'm going to give you uh, children of the number of the stars, right? But, you know, he, he his wife made a decision. It, you, you remember the story, right? Yeah, his happened. wife was like, take my maidservant. Yep. Take my maidservant, make her your wife. Yep. And then what ended up happening long term? Uh, Sarai and, and, and Hagar, right? They had, because Hagar all of a sudden now, because now she's sleeping with, you know, and she gave she gave the kid, she was able to give a kid to, to Abram. Now she felt like the high and mighty one in the house. Yeah, yeah. You hear what I'm saying? And now there was, yeah, they, yeah. her yeah. And, 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 and Sarai were at odds with each yep. other. What ended up happening is that Abraham's heart was broken because he had to send Hagar away into the wilderness with her son. Yep. You hear what I'm saying? This is what happens. Chaos. You hear what I'm saying? Chaos is introduced into the family. Literally, the Bible is just a book of all the ways that people in the past did the wrong things. Right now, it's, why don't we learn from it's a repetition that? Repetition of what we have to learn from each other. Right? Mm. Yeah. Um. I guess you could say that, but also a history book too as well. But no, what what'd you say? Keep on keep on going. <laughs> yeah, keep on going.